Hi everybody. I wanted to share my uh, Pennsylvania Northeast Corridor end scale layout on a door. Um, this took me about uh, about a year. Um, I'm still in the process of adding a catenary for the uh, GG1s and so forth. But um, it goes to show you, you can have a city, a river, and a farm in the space of uh, just the door in end scale. That's why I like end scale. I did HO for like 30 years. Due to a divorce, I had, didn't have the room, so I got back into it with end scale, and I think I'm going to stick with that even if I do get a bigger house. But um, I have NCE, um, DCC control. Um, I have a Broadway Limited um, E8, T1, and I have um, some uh, Bachman GG1s, which I love. They're, they're really great, and I have a Kato GG1. Uh, the water was the Envirotex, which I did, you know, I did this before on an HO layout and this stuff. I rec highly recommend this to anybody. Um, the buildings in the city, some are scratch built, some are the Woodland Scenics already built up. I really didn't have the time at the time because I was still working. I've since retired and been able to finish this. Uh, but I built it portable. Every, the, the whole city lifts up. Everything lifts up. So if I need to move it, the only thing really is going to be permanently attached is the water in the track. Um, and I also did it in a module uh, concept. So uh, the backdrops lift out. I did that with um, leftover foam which I put this down, the two inch foam. I, I had a piece that was cut off here, which left a jagged edge. And with the jagged edge, rather than covering it up, I just put, I just painted it to look like rock. So it's a little different approach than what I used to do before with the, using the plywood and the hills and all that stuff. Um, it's basically flat on the board, but like I said, this is just a module and it's just going to be a small section of the flat and then I'll go into the, with the bench work and stuff like that. But I did go down from the, the foam to the door, which allowed me the two inches to, this, you know, to set the water down in, which made it give it more depth And the city, as you can see, is built up. And I covered the, I don't like, I don't like to see curves. Um, unfortunately, I had to do it on the one end, but here, as you can see, it goes into and under the city and I have a scene here where you can look in and actually see like um, the underground where the train goes underneath for the people to get up to the town. But uh, that was my concept of getting rid of that, the curve with that oval and just the trains going around. Um, still not completed. I still have a lot of details to do. Um, but I wanted to at least show, you know, my progress so far and show that you can do a lot with limited space with end scale. So uh, I'll keep you all updated on my progress and then I'll also um, share some of my tips on how I did the, um, the farm field and, and a few other things that I've done. Uh, the trees, I, all, I, they're, I created those. Uh, they're all made by me. They're not store-bought trees. I mean, there's no two the same. Um, the bridge I modeled um, after a bridge that my grandfather used to walk me across in Wilmington, Delaware, which is still used there by Norfolk Southern. However, it's not in a swing mode, it's locked into closed position, but I modeled that as close to as I could as I remembered. But uh, that's it, I'll keep you all posted on my progress. Thanks for watching, bye.